Uh, this is Walter Kaufman bringing you another devotion. I'm just right around the corner here, but I'm upstairs the second floor of our educational building, and uh, our water fountain, yep, I had to come up here and plug it in. You know why? It's been sitting here off since mid-March. It's kind of noisy, so let me unplug it so you can hear. But I want you to think about it. Here is a water fountain that's supposed to give us that cold, refreshing water. But I've had it cut off because we're not using this part of the building, you know, because of the pandemic. So we've been meeting out in our Family Life Center for worship. And so this floor has been sitting empty. So I wanted to save some energy there, save some money. So I cut it off. But just think, would you like to drink out of that right now? I mean, honestly, would you like to drink out of that? It's been sitting there since mid-March. See, we got to be reminded that water fountain is made for water to flow through, not to stay in. It's to flow through and come out and then for people to enjoy that cold, refreshing water. What about the church? We need to be reminded that we're to share the good news of Jesus Christ, the, the living water. It's not to be stagnant. It's not to be sitting in the church. The church is supposed to be more real today than ever before. I know I've got my mask in my pocket, then you know, I have to carry that everywhere. But see, hiding behind the mask, is that real answer today when it comes to sharing the good news of Jesus Christ? I mean, six foot apart. But what about when that person needs to hear the message of Jesus Christ? Let us be reminded we're not to be sitting and become stagnant. The church today has more, more reason to serve than ever before. And that is to get the message out. And so it's just strange. On my phone here, it came up with a low battery. Uh, and so it's in the low battery mode. Let me go ahead and hit that so we can keep on recording. But it, look at that. We, water fountain is not working right. And cell phones to get down low power. But let us be reminded, we have all the power we need in Jesus Christ. We're to still carry the good news out. Let us be reminded of that. And so in John, the fourth chapter, verses 13 through 14, it says this. And Jesus answered, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. I got a feeling if you drink that water, you will be <clears throat> thirsty for something there. But whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. And so even during a pandemic, even through these times that we have, we still have a message to share. Not to be stored, but to be shared. Low power? Yeah, we may think we are, but we got more power than we've ever had before in Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father, I want to encourage those who are scared. I want to encourage those that are fearful. Lord, I pray now that we realize there's still a message to share. Lord, your power is not going away. It's there more than ever before. Their living water is there to be shared. Lord, bless each one. Encourage each one. Strengthen each one. And let us as a church be stronger than we've ever had before. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I better get my phone charged up. But in a great note with Jesus, we got all the power we need.